Hey everybody, John Dow here again. Uh, thanks for coming back. Beautiful day. If you're not having one, go have one. Love dirt, everything's good. Um, today we're going to talk about fence posts, uh, deck posts, any kind of square posts that you might have, 4x4s, 6x6, 8x8s, anything like that that you have in your yard. You can see behind me here, this is a deck post and I live out on some land so I've been doing my yard in sections. So we just sodded this back area, which is now around these posts. And used to have a uh, privacy fence. And everybody, you know, tries to weed eat really easy up against this post so you don't chew them up. But, you know, after time, it just chews the crap out of them. You gotta restain them. Um, it's just a pain in the butt, slower, all that stuff. So today I'm gonna show you a little trick that will keep you from having to deal with that at all. Um, it doesn't take very many items to do it, so we're just gonna run through them, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick, and then hopefully you can do that to whatever you need. So anyway, so you just need tape measure, you know, permanent marker if you have one. Pencil will work, but permanent marker is better some tin snips, some nails. Now, these are just small inch and a half common nails. You know, you can kind of use whatever you want, but you know, pretty small, pretty thin. And then obviously, hammer. And then you're gonna want these, okay? So these, are actually Home Depot. Remember, I love Home Depot. Everybody else is great, love Home Depot. But this is actually back in the roofing section. And the tag on here actually is called that as a shingle step guard. Shingle step guard. I don't know if you can see it or not. But basically, it's just, just a 90, right? Well, what I figured out is this is four inches and this is four inches. So you have eight inches total. So if you have a four by four post, you can just put this directly around the post, which I'll show you, and it's fine. But I have six by sixes, so we're gonna have to do something a little different. Now, if you wanna go really tall with these, you can, but I like cut them in half so they, they don't show as much. You know, the grass almost hides them, so it doesn't look bad at all. But if you want to go high, because you're letting the grass grow high or whatever, you can. Um, but I like cutting them down. But this is just stainless. The reason why I like this is stainless. It's not painted, so you're not going to scratch it up and make it look bad. It's just, once this gets all washed off, this just has crap on it. Once the rain hits this, gets all washed off, it's just going to stay stainless forever. Uh, or galvanized steel stainless, kind of the same thing. Um, or this will do the same thing anyway. So what I like to do on these, on the six by sixes, is a little different, okay? So I'm gonna show you the difference here. So these are, these are like I said, eight inches total, right? So if we had a four by four, you would literally cover the four by four with one of these on one corner and one on the other corner. It would cover the whole four by four. So you'd only need two of these pieces, nail it at the top, at the bottom on each end, and you just wrap it around. Okay, but we have a six by six, so we can't do that. So we actually have to use two per side to get it to work right, okay? So now, like I said, if you put them on here, two pieces, and you put them down at the bottom of the post, you know, I think they'd be fine, but look a little funky for me, a little, little too much sticking up there for me. So I'm just going to show you real quick what I do. And if you do it this way, if you cut them in half, now you get enough pieces to do a six by six. So four by four, you just need two pieces. Six by six, you need four pieces, right? So that's how we're gonna work this. 
So I just simply, and you know, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the cut bottom at the bottom so your top is nice and nice and straight, okay? So all I do is go right here to the middle and mark four on both sides of my tape. Go down here, mark four on both sides of my tape. Go down here, four, both sides of my tape. It's rough and dirty, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, we're gonna put this on the bottom. We're gonna put it on the top. So we're simply just gonna take our, our tin snips, run along that little line that we just made at that four inches. Just be careful. Um, I should probably be wearing gloves because this stuff is really, really sharp and it'll, it'll cut you really quick. Uh, but I'm an idiot, so be safe, wear some gloves. But you're just going to cut it to that point. And see, now we have two pieces. So now we have two pieces. Now remember, like I said, the stock, the stock edge we're going to have up, the cut edge we're going to have down. So you're never going to see that cut edge that we just made. That's why it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Remember, we have to have four of these for six by six. We only need two of them for a four by four. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Mark four on both sides. Come down here. Once, once, up here, four inches, four inches. Okay, like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to spend a ton of time doing this. You know, it's pretty rough and dirty, but we don't need that, okay? So we're just gonna take this piece and we're gonna cut up to our point, just like we did before. Okay. So now we have enough to do a six by six. Okay. So now all we need is our cut pieces, our nails, and our hammer. Now it's probably good to use goo, uh, bleh, sorry, galvanized nails um, so they don't rust, so they last a lot longer. A regular nail is gonna probably last fine with this, but galvanize it in that much more if you already don't have them. If you already have them, it's, it's your choice. Um, you know, I'd, I'd probably go with galvanized, but anyway, that's just kind of me. So we're gonna throw everything over here. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you a little closer here. Hopefully it, hopefully we can get you in here a little bit so you see a little bit better. Okay. So the only big thing you want to do with this, oops, sorry. There we go. So remember, our cut side is going to go down. So we're just going to make sure we kind of cut side goes down. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have four of them. Cut side down, cut side down. Okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna line everything up first, okay? We want everything to line up nice, look nice, go on there nice, right? So First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of these, okay? And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna put one in the corner, take your other one and overlap it. Doesn't matter which side you overlap, doesn't matter. The important thing is to keep it nice and straight. Keep your top straight so it looks stock, okay? That's the most important part. Now, we gotta have a place to start here so we can actually do it without having 15 hands helping us. So we're going to take a nail, make sure our tops are where, where we want it. Make sure everything's lined up nice and square on this one side. Okay. Take our nail. Okay. We're just going to start it. We're just going to start it and leave it. Okay. Because what you want to do is then you want to take your other two sides. doesn't matter how you overlap them. You overlap them however you want. doesn't matter. All we're doing here is making sure everything's straight, okay? So now you can take this side, make sure this top is level, OK? 
Okay, you're gonna take this other side, make sure it's level, and you're gonna go to the other side, make sure it's level, okay? So once everything's fairly level, then what we can do is, well, maybe, give me a second here, there we go. Okay, so once we have this other side level, we're gonna take a nail. Now, remember, you're gonna put this nail where the two overlap, so you only need one nail in that. Okay, so we're gonna start that one. And you're just gonna work your way around, okay? It's gonna work your way around here. Get everything nice and level. Then you're gonna take your nail at the top. Okay, get it level. Put your top nail in, start it. Okay, so now we're on our last piece. Now as long as you do this, everything will be nice and perfect level on the top. I'm going to look to to do that. Okay. And we're going to take our nail on this side. Okay. So now that we have that, now we can actually knock all our top nails. We can knock all our top nails in. Okay. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just going to take we're going to take we're going to put another nail on the bottom just so everything holds the way we want it. Okay, one on that side. one on that side now you really can't see it real good but my 8 by 8 sit on these big metal brackets at the bottom these big, big metal brackets there's one on this side one on this side so this side lays totally flat but this side doesn't so there's a little gap so if that little gap bugs you all you got to do is just take your hammer Bend this little corner around. Then you're going to come to this side. The same thing. You're going to bend this little corner around. Like so. And then if you don't like it here, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take this corner. And you just got to hold it as you're bending it around pretty thin stuff so it's pretty easy to work with it's pretty malleable so you can pretty much pretty much do whatever you want with it okay then you take this last piece and we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna push it around the way we want it just push it around I mean, this takes more time. That takes more time than really any of it to do. Said you can kind of, you know, kind of make it however you want it. There you go. Okay. So we're going to back you up here a little bit. 
See if I can get out of your way here. So, I back you up just a little bit. There we go. Make sure I'm in the picture. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Okay. Doesn't stick up that far. Now, like I said, if you want the whole piece, you can have the whole piece. But I like cutting them in half, wrapping them at the bottom, putting them in. Like I said, if you have a 4x4, four four, you only need two of them. So if you cut them in half, now you've made enough for two posts. And these pieces are only, I think they're 84 cents a piece. So if you have 4x4s, four cut one in half, you're doing a whole post for less than a buck. That's a bargain. You're not going to find that anywhere. And the stuff's strong enough, it's going to take weedier for years and years and years and years. The biggest thing is it's going to protect your post. It's going to protect your stain. It's not going to eat away. And maybe just as important, it's going to be a whole lot easier for you to deal with it and not have to worry about it. So anyway, like I said, that comes from Home Depot. Um, simple tools. Anybody can do it. Fence posts, deck posts, doesn't matter if you're mowing around it spraying or it doesn't matter you can do it so anyway that's what i got for you today um if you have any comments please leave them help you out um if you have any questions leave them there i'll help you out uh, if you would please subscribe to my channel um that helps me out um so anyway that's all we got today uh once again weather's great go enjoy it love dirt it's all we can ask so enjoy your day Till next time John Dahar, thanks.